Okay, hey guys. I've been on YouTube a lot lately. I've been looking at videos about new speed cubes that I would maybe stock in my store. And High on Cube crossed my mind. And I noticed that on YouTube and forums, there was a lot of confusion about the High on Cube and which one is which, which one's the best, and basically which cubes are actually High on Cubes. Um, I'm going to be trying to clear this up today. I'm going to be trying to clear this up for you guys so that you should have a good idea on which cube is which, and by the end of the video, I will tell you which cube I which cubes I may be stocking, and yeah, let's just get right started. Okay, the first thing I want to get out of the way is if you're on Hyon's website, um, you'll see something that says Hyon's Type A two or something like that. This cube has a Type A logo, which is the Type A five logo, and um, I think they only have it in white. But uh, when you pop an edge, you'll see it's just a normal Type A too. He actually just calls it a Type A too. Lots of people assume it because it's being sold on his website. It's one of his cubes that he modified and made, but it's not. It's just a normal Type A two. So yeah, the Type A two is not high on cube. It's just the standard Type A two. Okay, the next cube I want to go over is the Type A five. As you can see, the logo is the Type A5 logo, or the Type A logo, that is on all of the products that are sold on the Hyon's website. Let me just go over this. A5 is originally not made by Hyon. The thing about the Type A is a lot of people say that they lock up, which is not always the case. This is my main speed cube, so you can still cut corners. It is the cube used to set the world record 3x3 average by Felix Zemmings. This cube it has a significant light feeling, and it has a louder noise and it shouldn't pop if you have it set correctly and it'll still cut corners good um degree now this cube is one of the cubes that Hyon modified to make his memory cube and the type a5 is the one that has edges like this as you can see mine's worn down more than usual and this is the one with the really angular corners as you can see it's really angular and this is the curved core cube also. You can't really see, but it has a curved, ballish kind of core. And this cube, a lot of people like it. I, re I recommend it to everyone that's looking for a speed cube. Uh, I'll link you in the description to where it can be bought. Um, and yeah, this cube was not made by Hyon. He just modified it. This cube, the Hyon Memory Cube, was said to only be manufactured in white, which confused a lot of people. But it does come in black. And as of March 15th, they were produced officially, as in machines were making them, making the piece molds instead of high on. Now, what high on did was this is the same exact cube as a Type A5, same exact cube except for a few differences. As you can already notice, if you look at the cube side by side, this one is the Type A5, you'll see that the little um, hole in there is way bigger than it is on the Type A5. Now the reason behind this is, if you remember when I was talking about the Type A5, I said it had an angular corner. Now the high on memory cube, as you can see, same exact edge piece, no difference that I'm aware of. Now if you look at the corner, you see instead of it being angular how rounded that is. Now he supposedly does this by hand, by himself, and he assembles every single one by hand, and stickers them and adjusts them perfectly. This one will not pop. Um, it cuts corners just as well as my Type A5 does, but the only problem is, is a lot of people say that it has such amazing slicing, which means that it would be able to cut corners right here, which is not true. And this cutting corner ability would be using his stock um, tension that he sets, and this is not true, at least not on the cube I have. Now other people say it should be able to cut corners like this, and as you can see it can't. So going here, it cuts going this way it won't now this is a nice cube it feels just like the type A but there's a little bit less locks which means the speed right out of the box is faster but it doesn't always mean it makes a better cube now what you can do if you have a type A5 which I actually recommend is since these cubes are $25 each what you should do buy a type A5 get a nice grid of sandpaper now on the corners the part that's pointing towards the center like this like little angle right here what you're going to want to do 
is sand this part of the corner right here and so it's like circular rounded and not so angular and this can save you a lot of money because type a5s usually sell for about seventeen dollars they do on my website at least and that's with shipping included and it's still a very nice cube without it now these cubes are fast when you first assemble it and they're just not as quick as the Han memory cube is so Han memory cubes used to be assembled only in white but now they come in black and will be mass produced by machines soon but the price is very expensive for them so they're not always recommended now last cube I'm be showing you is just the Hyon cube this is not the Hyon memory cube lots of people will get it mixed up it's just Hyon's cube now what this cube is is nothing like the type A5 it's his own mechanism now as you can see the pieces are more together as in see right here there's like no real space but if you look on the type A5 it just looks different because it goes dips in more like it like it has like a ridge right in here that dips in this cube is flat so this cube has a nice feel it's very fast and lots of people are making assumptions that this is the Hyon memory cube just because it has Hyon's name marked on it they come in white and black but the only problem is corner cutting now corner cutting is alright on this cube but supposedly when Hyon sends these out to people uh, for orders he builds them all by hand stickers them all by hand it puts the perfect tension on it so that it will cut corners amazingly and not pop this is not true for this cube as you can see if I put it right there it cuts but you have to put a little bit more effort than you do on a type A5 um, now other people when they think this is the high on cube say it will cut corners this way so it's meant to cut like this but it will cut the other way this is not true either I can make it to this small degree and it will cut but once you just move a little bit more it won't now I have no idea why he's putting all those type A logos on the cubes I'm assuming it's because he bases them off the type A idea and I would show you some internals of this cube but I think I'll just uh, display a picture on the screen either somewhere up there or just in a new screen right now because the internals are very thin and I popped down edge before this video and it felt like uh, the cube was gonna break so you may expect to see these on my website sometime in the future uh, I'm not sure when, it just depends how fast I go through the order that I just received. And high memories are also a possibility depending on how the price will drop with the new manufacturing process. So, I just wanted to keep, uh, clear up some confusion about this topic, which I know a lot of people are interested in because it's the new cube on the market. And a lot of cubers try to make it seem like whenever a new cube comes out that every other cube is just horrible, which is not the case because I was given to these free by a friend in China and they're nice but they're just not my main speed cube because I just like my type A5 so much so um, I'll link you guys to where to buy the type A5 in the description to my website it's $17 with free shipping and um, yeah it's a nice cube cuts corners but yeah the Talon Cubes, they're nice. If you could try one out at a competition, I'd suggest that before you buy one because they have a very different feel than most cubes do. So, yeah, I hope this video helped anyone that had some questions about the uh, Hyon Cube. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. And I will answer it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.